Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel. Our topic for today's video tutorial is evaluating function. I hope you stay tuned because we are going to transform the difficult to understand competencies into easy to learn using a step-by-step -step guide as an aid to solve problems. Before we start, Let's take a look at the prerequisite competencies needed in this topic. Make sure that you know already the following. Number one, the order of the operations. Number two, operations on signed numbers. Now, let's get started. Let us revisit first the rules in the order of operations. So, here are the rules. Number one. Do everything inside of the parentheses. So this includes all forms of grouping symbols, the parentheses, the brackets, and the braces. After that, uh, do any exponents or roots. Then, uh, multiplication or division, performing them left to right. Then lastly, addition or subtraction, performing them left to right. Remember that if we will not follow PEMDAS rule, then the problem could have different answers and we don't want that to happen. Take note that the four basic operations, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction are binary in nature, meaning we cannot perform them all together. Now, I will give you a specific example and help me decide which operation should be performed first according to PIMDAS. Are you ready? Okay, so let's start. Which operation should be performed first according to PIMDAS? 3 plus the quantity of 4 minus 1. Timer starts now. The correct answer is 4 minus 1. So we are going to do first the operation inside of the parentheses. Next, 3 times the square of 1. Timer starts now. The correct answer is 1 square. You're right. Exponentiation has higher level of priority compared to multiplication. Number 3. 3 divide 1 times 4. Timer starts now. Multiplication and division have the same level of precedence. However, if they occur in sequence, you need to perform them left to right. The correct answer is 3 divide 1 first. Number 4. 3 minus 1 plus 4. Which operation should be performed first according to PIMDAS? Timer starts now. Addition and subtraction have the same level of precedence. In the case that they occur in sequence, perform them left to right. The correct answer is 3 minus 1 first. I guess we are now ready for our topic today. So let's start in... Awesome! Definition Evaluating function means replacing the variable in the function with a value from the function's domain and computing for the result. So if we have f of a, it means that we are evaluating the function f at a for some a in the domain of f. In other words, we are going to replace the variable in the function with a. Given 
f of x is equal to x square minus 4x plus 3. Find letter A, f of 1. Letter B, f of negative 3. Let us start solving for f of 1. Meaning, we are going to replace all x in the function with 1. So the function is f of x is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 3. And we are going to replace all x here with 1. So f of 1 is equal to, so x squared becomes, so x is 1, so 1 squared. Minus 4x, so since x is 1, so this becomes minus 4 times 1, and then uh, no more x at the end, so just copy the constant plus 3. Now, applying the order of the operations, we are going to take the square first of 1. So, the square of 1 is... 1. So next, just copy minus 4 times 1 plus 3. So after exponentiation, the next operation to perform is multiplication. So we have negative 4 times 1 and negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. So we have now 1 minus 4 plus 3. So according to PEMDAS, addition and subtraction have the same level of precedence. So perform them left to right. So here, uh, 1 minus 4 first. And the answer is negative 3. So finally, we have now negative 3 plus 3. And the answer is 0. So therefore, evaluating the function at x equals 1 is 0. Or f of 1 is 0. Oh, oh, oh. I don't like your reaction. Maybe at this point, you're a little bit confused on how to do from one step to the next. But the step-by-step -step guide at the left side of this video will guide you throughout. If you want to follow through, then you may post this video and check it out. Now, let's try another example. Evaluate the same function at x equals negative 3. Or find f of negative 3. The function again is f of x is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 3 f of negative 3 means replacing the variable in the function x with negative 3. So, we have now f of negative 3 is equal to x squared becomes negative 3 quantity squared minus 4x becomes minus 4 times negative 3 and no more x, so just copy the constant positive 3. Next, applying PIMDAS, the first operation to perform is negative 3 square. Exponentiation has higher level of precedence in the given sequence of operations. Negative 3 square is positive 9. After that, copy negative 4 times negative 3 plus 3. Next is negative 4 times negative 3. In the given sequence of operation, multiplication is our next priority. And negative 4 times negative 3 is positive 12. So we have now 9 plus 12 plus 3. 
The remaining operation is addition. So, perform them left to right. So, 9 plus 12 is 21. And then, 21 plus 3 is 24. So, therefore, the value of the function at x equal to negative 3 is 24.